What we have to do now is get him moving correctly, initiating this movement with his hips. So come up out of the bottom. Now that's, you know, fairly constant out of the bottom. But what I want you to do is initiate this thing out of the bottom with your butt. Okay. Squat back down. And what I want you to do is push up on my hand. Do that again. That's exactly right. I'm going to give him something to resist, some resistance, and I want him to push right there against that out of the bottom. Do it again. Drive up real hard. Good. Now, let me back away and let's look at it again. Same thing. Now, hip. Do you see the initial movement out of the bottom as a hip drive? Does everybody see that? The first thing that moves is hips. And you see a tiny little change in the back angle at first. If it's any more than that, it's wrong. Okay? But we have to see the hips start the movement. You guys have all heard you got to look up, right? Look up to go up, go up to look up, whatever bullshit they're talking about. This. Let's, let's look at this. All right? Squat down. All right? We're going to teach you to look on the floor with your eyes, your eye gaze direction, coming out of your head in a neutral position with a neutral cervical spine so that all of that anatomy is normal. All right? Now... If that's the case, what will the eye gaze direction be? And where will you be looking? Be looking right out here, right? And if you focus your eyes on that position, one of the interesting things that it does is it gives you some proprioceptive feedback regarding your position in space, right? And you'll notice it's only five or six feet away from you. Now look up the ceiling. How far away is that? Quite a bit further, isn't it? So if we want immediate proprioceptive feedback, that's the place to look, right? And I'm going to show him a little demonstration. I want you to look at the floor just like that. Now push up against my hand, okay? Now <clears throat> look up the ceiling. Look up to go up, right? Go up to look up. All that shit. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna block you again. Look up. <laughs> now that's astonishing, isn't it? And what we find is that, and we're gonna go through this with everybody. Everybody uniformly prefers, once they're presented with those two options, they prefer looking down. Because you have access to your hips when you are looking at the floor. If on the way up out of the bottom of the squat, you look up, what's your chest gonna do? It's gonna go up too, and what are your knees gonna do? And what does that do to your hamstrings? It shortens them distally from the knee. Knee joint closes, hamstring attachment on the tibia approximates the hip. So you're slacking your hamstrings distally. What are you trying to do with your hamstrings? Your hamstrings are what manage that moment arm that we are trying to create with the horizontal back angle. And if you slack them from the knees, then you diminish their ability to maintain the back angle. What will happen is, and if we had time, we'd show you a bunch of movies here. What, what happened is that every time you try to lift your chest up in the middle of that squat or lift the hit, the bar speed goes down. Immediately, the velocity drops when you do this. If you will stay out of the chest, keep your eyes down and stay in the hips, the bar speed will remain constant up out of the bottom.